Welcome back everyone, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to a new episode of Music with Nick today. Super stoked, we're going to do some more Frank Marino. Um, I wanted to thank Dale for sponsoring this um, second Frank Marino marathon. Uh, there is one I did a couple of months ago, which was amazing. This guy is just on an amazing level of musicianship. I really much <clears throat> the style that I, you know, listen to. I listen to a lot of jazz fusion, but also a lot of neoclassical, a lot of blues. And so this one here, uh, Dale told me that it's going to be a little bit different, a little more like jazzy, psychedelic and rock. And uh, he, he said it's kind of hard <laughs> for me to put an accurate genre label on some of his songs, which is you know, difficult, of course. So, um, and he's like, I'll leave that to you. Let's see if I can even, you know, do that. Um, because, you know, guitar players are guitar players and some of, some guitar players are really crazy and it's just very original. So we're going to do, uh, first of all, I want to thank, of course, Dale again, you know, for sponsoring this awesome marathon. I'm sure we're going to have a lot of fun and, um, we're going to do two, um, YouTube links and just the audio. I don't think um, there's any video here. Um, no, this is from um, we're going to do Frank Marino and Mahogany Rush trying anyway. It's from 1975. The album was called Strange Universe. Then we're going to change. Uh, we're going to do um, from Strange Universe as well. We're going to do. Give me a second. Um, I think it's called Strange Universe, the song from the album. So the title track, let's see. Am I doing this? Yeah, third album. So the title track, last song on the uh, on the album. Awesome. And then we're going to um, switch over to Spotify. We're going to do Tales of the Unexpected album, 79. And we're going to do Sister Change and Tales of of the unexpected as well the title track so hey i'm always down for some guitar playing you know i mean that's what i do that's my passion um and uh there's some i've heard some frank and i've been like yeah you know i could try that and um there's just so many good guitar players out there that i would love to put on the channel but i still have to figure out like the whole legality and you know this um but there was one guy that i um added in, in one of uh, the marathons which is brett garset and oh my god he's so good and he actually thanked me and i was like so happy because i was kind of like sometimes a smaller guitar players it's a little bit more dangerous to put him on on a channel because they're like hey you know like I don't know. I don't know how it works, but it has happened to me that because bands that are smaller, they're like, hey, you know, don't put up our stuff, you know. So I'm just like being careful. But yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun here. Frank Marino, let's let's just start it off with the first song. And um, here we go with, um, let's see, with Trying Anyway. Here we go. This is YouTube, so if there's any kind of commercials, I'll try to cut them off or edit them out. But uh, let's go with Frank. Here we go. Well, every time I try, I just push 
Very, very cool. Wow, really cool. You know what this reminded me of? This is gonna sound super weird, but Dale, you should check out check out Iron Maiden, the album Killers. Literally, uh the vocalist called Paul Diano. He sounds just like this guy. I don't know if, if Frank was singing, but if he did, he sounds just like Paul Diano. And the guitar playing is so interesting in that band because I think Iron Maiden has the best two guitar players in a band. Like, you know, if you like a band like, let's say, I don't know, Deep Purple or um, I don't know, Judas Priest or ACDC. I think the two best guitar players in a band are Adrian Smith and Dave Murray. And they're just so good. Adrian Smith is more the blues guy. Very, very nice. Very cool solos. Very distinctive very i don't know just what he puts in it it's not just like notes it's like very thought out and dave murray is more the legato guy he plays very flashy fast solos so check him out check out killers um iron maiden you're gonna like it it sounds very much like this now they pulled a, a 180 right there with the jazz and I think this was really, it sounded more, it sounded suddenly like a little like Zappa. Because in this setting, in this rock setting, in this blues setting, suddenly to play like these, this bass walk, boom, 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 boom. And, you know, also to put on the scales and play outside. That was really cool. I, it was really unexpected. That's a side I hadn't seen by Frank Marino because he's more like the shredder, you know. So this was really nice to hear because guys like i don't know like steve Vai or you know joe satriani or ingwie malmstein they stick to their style and they don't pull up like a 180 or 360 and just like start playing jazz so this was kind of like a surprise it was really cool i really enjoyed this but yeah take that um um you know if you like this kind of guitar playing and this kind of singing it reminded me very much of this 1980 album by iron maiden check it out i hope you you um uh, write me something like <laughs> like hey i i really i really hated it or i really liked it something like that okay now this um let's see okay so it's from the same album strange universe this is a little bit on the longer side almost seven minutes so let's see what he has for us here. So, so far I'm super, super happy with, with, uh, with Frank. It's just, I don't know. It's just very underrated, unfortunately, the underrated guitar player is I have so many that I listen to, you know, Greg, uh, Greg Howe is super underrated. It's amazing guitar player. Guthrie. I mean, Guthrie is getting more recognition i mean he's playing with hans zimmer but there's just so many guitar players that are so good and unfortunately since they don't play mainstream music they just don't get the recognition so okay uh strange universe is next here we go <laughs>
Wow, so this sounds like, I don't know, it sounds kind of like Prague, you know? It's, it reminds me a little bit of, <clears throat> maybe not Rush, but you kind of like nailed it when you said psychedelic, but it's it's still like, you know, like, it sounds a little bit like heavy metal, you know? Um, but not like, not that kind of metal, like not not like thrash, but... Like again, I'm again. Yeah, I'm, I'm again going to use like an example. Iron Maiden are very melodic. They are heavy, but not heavy. It's like it's a different type of heavy. It's like more like like very melodic, and they have like these amazing instrumental parts. Uh, like pff, I could not recommend them more. If you like this, check out Iron Maiden. Like for example, this one. Like check out the album Power Slave and uh, check out the song Power Slave and also Rise, no, Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. It's going to blow away your socks and you're going to say like, this sounds like Frank, you know, Mahogany Rush. Um, You will literally say that. Just check out those two songs, like, like listen to them for a minute. And um, now the, the singing is... You have to get used to Bruce Dickinson. It's very operatic. Um, but you will find a little bit of a similarity in, in, in song composition, especially this one. And another one that I recommend to you, if you have not l l heard Ingwe Malmsteen, um, just check out the song Far Beyond the Sun by Ingwe Malmsteen. It's going to blow your mind, the, the way he plays neoclassical uh, metal. And it's not metal. It's like, it's so good. Just, just, just give it a chance. It's an instrumental. And it's going to blow your socks away from the album Rising Force. It's right behind me. Um, give him a chance. Ingwe Malmsteen. And uh, you're going to love it. But yeah, this is very, very good. This is very, very good. Right up my alley. Okay, there's a song. You're going to think I'm insane. But I'm going to recommend you more Iron Maiden. There's a song called Alexander the Great. This is on the album Summer in Time. Please, please, like, just... Like... This is literally from the heart. Those, these, these are recommendations. Check it out. You'll fall in love <laughs> with these bands. With the, especially Iron Maiden. So check out 
check out I would say Killers the song of that's Iron Maiden their second album Killers check out the song just go with the title track Killers then switch to um, Power Slave and listen to Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner that's the longest one and then the switch to somewhere in time and listen the last listen to the last song called Alexander the Great then you'll know what I'm talking about just do it you'll don't you won't regret it okay so now we're done with the YouTube songs this was a great tune this was very I loved I love instrumental music it had a lot of great melodies very trippy just like you described that those are you words it had just like a little bit of a spacey vibe you know really cool and uh very nice m melodies and like just good stuff you know so now we're gonna switch it over to um tales of the unexpected and we're gonna play sister change and then we're gonna finish it off with tales of the unexpected the song so here we go with um with the with the third song. Here we go.
was amazing. Oh, I couldn't stop. Um, but this was like totally a departure from the, you know, the blues, um, which is, I do love blues, but I, I listen to so much fusion that a, just a blues player, like, even though he's flashy and, you know, it just like, I don't know, after a while, I'm just like, you know, that's why I don't play the blues because I, I feel very boxed in, uh, when, uh, when you improvise, you know, but that's just me. So I really like the style. It's more like a metal approach, not really heavy metal, but just like more like a proggy, you know, I love that keyboard and I don't know, it has like these, this very ballsy sound and he's still like lays down these really killer licks, um, but it's just not like the blues format, you know, the blues, the, the three chord format, you know, that, that just like after a while, it just like, I don't know. Um, this is very good. I can't wait to listen to this last song, eight minutes, um, Tales of the Unexpected. Let's see where he goes with this because this is really interesting. So let's move it forward with, uh, Frank here. Let's go. Okay, give me one second because we did start. Let's start it right.
Very, very good. So yeah, this is definitely a more proggier side of Frank, Frank Marino. And I really, really enjoy it because instrumental music, there's jazz involved. So it is, you know, some like it is kind of a, a fusion here, but like between styles like rock, blues, jazz. It's really good. And, and, and certain vibes of like... I don't know that it sounded like Pink Floyd, you know, like on the run from Dark Side. So it's just a good mix of music and is very satisfactory to the ears, you know, too. I, I'm sure um, a lot of people would enjoy this. So I'm happy that we did this marathon. Um, thank you so much, Dale, you know, for exposing me to this amazing musician and this band also you have to give it to the band not just to him um to whoever was singing i don't know if it was him great voice great guitar playing by frank but i love that it was more riff based this whole thing it wasn't about the solos and about the shredding it was more about the whole melodies and the you know the harmonies and 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 the other instruments doing their stuff you know the bass the keyboards the the, the synth and stuff like that it was very cool it felt very experimental but not in a bad way it felt very different and very fresh still you know even though this is from the 70s and 80s this was really really cool thank you so much uh now for the second you know marathon with frank marinos let me know everyone if you're a fan of frank um I know these videos don't get like the most views, but I hope this one does, you know, like I always look for some, I'm not the clickbait kind of guy, but I mean, sometimes I come up with a clever idea. So people click on the video a little bit more, but it's, it's like, you know, YouTube is just like full of like BS, you know, that people click on because it says one thing, but it means, it com means completely the other. Alexi and I, we do it sometimes for fun, but we're not really into it. You know, it's just like you're kind of like taking the the, ex, the 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 watcher for a ride for something that's not that's in the title, but it's not. So we don't like to do that, you know. So, but hey, thank you so much, Dale, for this experience. I think he is an amazing musician, very very cool. Something I would love to go, uh, you know. I mean, I, we can't see him live because he passed away, but I would love to watch maybe like a concert or something um, of him. Uh, we've done some videos, but um, maybe something more complete, like like a full thing. But thank you so much, um, Dale. Um, take those um, recommendations if you want. If you don't want, that's okay. Uh, but I do recommend those those. Uh, the ones I mentioned through the video. Let me know what you think. Also, everyone in the, ch uh, the 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 comment section, let me know what you thought about this marathon. Is this your style of Frank Marino? Do you like it more blues based or more like you know fusion like this? You know, prog. This was more proggy fusion side of Frank Marino, which is very interesting. Which even more makes him and shows what a complete guitar. Uh, player he was very skilled in all these different genres so thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video